In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a B2B style enterprise landing page using 100% Google Apps components. In a previous video, I had shown you how to use some free code provided by the good people over at Lead Pages to create your own B2B style enterprise lead generation landing page, as they call it. And what Lead Pages did as part of their marketing effort is they provided a downloadable template that includes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that lets you create your own landing page with a little bit of manipulation and then upload it to a web host, or I showed how to upload it to an Amazon S3 bucket, which can be configured as a web host. And in general, you'll see that the lead page is conforming to the standards of a B2B landing page, which is very sparse, no navigation, a title, subtitle, three column with text, a book cover, and then some sort of call to action. And you could actually embed the web form here, which is what I showed you and what I'm going to show you today. So I thought maybe we could do this all 100% in Google Apps for Work with using just Google Apps for Work components. And this is what the result is. So here we're looking at a landing page that's hosted on Google Sites. Now, of course, with uh, the proper setup, this could be a subdomain and not, not expose the sites.google.com part. But in general, this is what it looks like. And it's also mobile responsive if you check the checkbox for that so that you just have to write it once and then someone using a, sale, a mobile phone will be able to see the landing page uh, very easily on their mobile phone. And if we look at the components here, we've got the logo on the top, we've got the title that matches the book cover color, we have a subtitle, and then using a three column layout, we have the text on the left. Uh, the book cover actually is pointing to a Google drawing, which I'll show you in a second. And then the form is actually a Google form, all within the same Google Apps account. So if we look over here, we'll see that I authored a book cover using all Google drawing components. I just put in some, some drawing components here to mock up a computer and to mock up the look of a book. And then this was actually published to the web. And then this URL here was used to insert the image right here. So you don't have to download it, save it, re-upload it. You can just link directly to the live drawing. And then over on the right here is the form. And the only downside to the form is, well, there are multiple downsides. One is that you cannot change the text in the submit button yet. There's a caution here on submitting passwords. There's a powered by. There's some text that says this was created inside your Google Apps organization. And then there are four links here, including one to pop this open in a new tab, which is probably okay. If you really don't like all of this text, the other option is to embed a form from something like Form Assembly or Wufoo or even from your marketing automation system. But in the spirit of making this 100% Google Apps based, I'll, I'll continue on. So the form here, this is a Google form I created and I used a very basic template and I unchecked every single checkbox just to make it look as sparse as possible. Created four fields, made them all required and then this is the text that after someone clicks on submit that appears where the form was to thank them and say, hey, check your email for a link to the ebook. Now, how is the user alerted? Well, there's actually an add-on written by Google called Form Notifications, which I've added in here. And it allows a new form submission to both notify a Google Apps user, in this case me, and also to notify the persons at their email address filled in here that says, you know, here's your free ebook and gives you some information along with a short URL. So what I actually did was I, the ebook is published in Google Docs and that's in turn published to the web and I took the long URL and shortened it using the Google URL shortener. So this is a pretty standard notification that someone would get from a marketing automation system, for example. I won't get into all the details of how I edited this page, but suffice it to say that I used a template that's a text box plus three columns. And then using the editor, it's very easy to insert things like a form and it lets you navigate right to the form because it's within the same Google Apps organization or account. I uh, created a folder where I can host all of my specific 
Google Docs that are used on this. And then this is the link that someone gets, which would be your ebook. Of course, it would be much more formatted than this with graphics and headers. But I effectively just authored it in, in uh, Google Docs and then did a file published to the web. And that's what this URL is. And then I went over to Google URL shortener and just created a shortened version of this. Now the submissions collect in an associated sheet. So the sheet is associated to the web form. So as visitors submit and get their request fulfilled, they get added to this sheet. Now you can use this as a mini database, but if you're using Salesforce or another CRM system that's supported by Zapier, you can actually get a Zapier account and use this to integrate new rows in a Google Sheet file, Google Sheets file with Salesforce as new leads. And you'll see this is premium. So everything up until this tab was 100% included within the Google Apps account. This is one thing you would have to pay extra for. But that's in a nutshell how you can create a B2B style landing page that's 100% hosted within Google Apps. And if you're not using Google Apps and would like to try it, you can click on the information button up here and there's a link to a page that gives you internal link to try the Google try Google Apps for free for your organization and also I've got a link down in the description below.